is where the postal truck was parked this morning. Neighbors say they watched as a man appeared to break into the truck, then walk back to his car carrying a tray full of mail. You're our favorite lady. Since the pandemic, this group of neighbors in San Jose has gathered outside on Tuesday mornings to connect. But today they noticed something unusual. A man in a red car parked directly behind a postal truck. I went running down and I started recording him. The U.S. Postal Inspector confirms investigators are now reviewing this surveillance video of the alleged postal truck break-in. It shows a man trying to get in at the back of the truck, then moving to the side where he gets in the side door. Seconds later, he walks out with a tray full of mail as neighbors scream at him. Then he drives off with the mail. I don't like it. You can steal somebody's identification that way. And neighbors say this is not the first time someone has broken into a postal truck on Bell Askew Drive. They broke into it before, just like six months ago. So I'm very concerned because it's a violation of our neighborhood and our the sense of safety that we have. It's a growing problem across the South Bay. In March, the U.S. Postal Service investigated nine mail truck break-ins in just one week, including one on Renway in Campbell. Many times for some of the vehicle break-ins, you know, they're looking for some of the financial information, uh, information or checks or credit cards or things like that. Neighbors here say they hope that getting a photo of the suspect's license plate will help investigators. Stealing mail is a federal offense with a penalty of up to five years in prison. Susan Zeisler is not convinced it's enough to stop the break-ins. They don't care. The people who do this don't care because they're not going to be caught. The Postal Service recommends you sign up for informed delivery. That way, if mail is stolen in your neighborhood, you can go online and see what was supposed to be delivered to you that day. In San Jose, Marianne Favreau, NBC Bay Area News.